guys good morning today is march 16th and we just getting up um i am cooking breakfast for the kids and we said our prayers and everything that we needed to do this morning Um, I went this morning to a video, I mean, well, not a video, well, yeah, a video and a text from my cousin, Sheen, after I made my depression and anxiety video. And he pretty much made my day and... Um, he pretty much made my day by sending me that text, but with depression and anxiety, I deal with this every day, every day of my life. Um, family really, really play a big part in your life. And when family and friends do you dirty, it's like, I don't know. To me, it was with family. Family, like, really did me dirty. And I hate to say this on this, but I struggle every day with a lot of different things. And um, today, my cousin Shane sent me this message that had me crying this morning in bed. Had me crying, and pretty much it let me know that I'm not alone. And that he loves me and keep doing what I'm doing, keep, you know, talking about it. Because I don't like to talk about it. And, um, sorry, you guys, I'm cooking breakfast. to keep doing what I'm doing and keep talking about it because you never know who else you can help or who else is dealing with it. And okay, mom. Okay. Yeah, you can play my tablet. And it's on, if it's on 70, you can play with it. It's on 70. Oh, if it's on 7, you can't play with it. And um With anxiety and depression, I deal with this every day. Oh, it's not hot enough. I deal with this every single day. And bullying, I don't see how people could do that to people. Bullying, trying to get other people to dislike other people for no reason. I don't I don't see how you could do that. Uh, but pretty much... Shane, he made my day. He let me know that, you know, that I am loved and that he is there. And that pretty much that I'm not alone going through this. Hey, you guys. Um, another thing I wanted to mention about anxiety and depression that I was going through. I, I was made fun of my anxiety, my depression me you know blacking out you know from family and that was also like a struggle me going through that um that really hurted me because I was really dealing with a lot and I don't think that was something to really make fun of you know so um like surround yourself by positive people don't let people bring you down and I'm I'm still learning this like every day I'm still learning about this every day like if y'all gonna bring me down like that, I don't need y'all in my life. If y'all gonna make fun of like um my mental health, my mental health, I don't I don't I don't need y'all around because I'm struggling. I'm struggling like I'm trying to get through this, you know. My kids, I always say this, my kids need me and um I don't think it's something to make fun of. 
you know, going through this, you know, and, and, and make like jokes about it and, and, and bully, you know, me on social media. I don't think that, that, that is a thing that you should be doing to somebody, you know, what is your reason for doing all this? Like, like to gain power, like, what is your reason for, you know, you disliking me? Are you feeling the way you feeling with me? And I know like, you know, me for one i didn't do you anything um nobody did you we, we nobody didn't did you anything you know so um i don't know why would you feel that way you know about someone like why like for no reason like i don't understand that but maybe you know there's been a feeling that they been having you know towards me and I'm not gonna say the other people's names, but you know, maybe they they probably just been having like feelings like that about me. So I don't understand that guys. So if you see anybody like bullying you on social media, block them. Just block them. Block them out. Cause it's not it's nothing wrong with you. It it it's something like something that they really is dealing with, you know inside like that they don't want to discuss you know so it's crazy I am cooking breakfast for the kiddos the kiddos but what what I'm dealing with um I deal with this every day it's a struggle and um I pray every day. I study going to church a lot more. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna have to love it. Started to go to church a lot more. Um, me and my family want to draw ourselves closer to God. And um, we want to draw ourselves closer to God. But today, I know today is going to be a good day by me, you know, hearing. My cousin, like, what, what do you, you know, say about me? It just really touched me. And I'm about to cry, but I'm trying not to. But I struggle every day with that. Um, if you're dealing with this, um, you really need a, um, you really need a therapist. I don't have a therapist, but I'm working on trying to find me a therapist. Um, my husband talk we talk every day we facetime every day when he's on the road also too my mom i have my mom i have my uh my mother in law i have uh my aunt vanessa i have um my sister you know i even talk to my daughter you know but if you are struggling i i i let my aunt vanessa know you know what i was going through um my mom know, my sister know, my mother law know, my husband know. They all know about like the suicidal thoughts that I had. They all know about. Uh, I know when I started taking the medication, I start. I even started having bad dreams, like I'm hurting myself or I'm killing someone, somebody else. Um, I don't like to take the medication, which I don't take it. I really don't take it, cause like the bad dreams, the suicidal thoughts. Um, it makes me sleep all day like i like all day like I'm, i don't have the energy for my kids um it makes me sleep you know and i don't like that but i came on to pretty much talk about my cousin how he made my day my morning i'm making Pancakes, sausages, and eggs for my kids this morning, which they have breakfast every morning. I make breakfast every morning. Um, I make breakfast for them every morning. Whatever they want, they get. They get to eat. So that's not a good thing. But if they ask for pancake and eggs, I run. I get up and I go make sure my kids have pancakes and eggs. They want Britain eggs. I make Britain eggs. As long as we have it in the house. Because there's no eating out every morning. Go 
Because my kids like to eat out. They love to eat out. Leah, what you want? Two pancakes or one? You need a therapist too for what? Tell me why. Yeah, my daughter, she struggled with a lot too. So I know she did it with anxiety. Like I said, I need to really look into that with her because she deal with a lot of fear, just like me. Um, ever since I had kids, it's like my fear didn't got, oh my God, worse. It didn't got bad. Because I worry about things happening to them, you know. Life is just so crazy. You want two pancakes? Okay, I gotta make your eggs after. Right well, we're about to eat. I gotta make your eggs, okay? I know you're hungry. Yo, I told you. What you want? Applesauce? Y'all want bananas with that? Y'all want strawberries? What you want? No? Did I have them a watermelon? That watermelon wasn't good. So, what you want? Uh, a cutie? Okay. Well, go sit. It's almost done. Okay? I promise you, it's almost done. They are so hungry. They are hungry. Oh, my video. Yes. So, you guys, um... Thanks for watching. I just wanted to let you know how my day was going. It's going good. Um, I'm just getting up. I rest. I got me some good rest. When you're dealing with this, you have to get good rest. Um, I'm about to FaceTime my husband, see if he's okay on the road. And I'll see you guys on my next video. So thanks for watching. I love you guys. Stay strong and get a therapist if you really need it. Okay? Bye, guys.